Did you know that most of the discarded garbage ends up in the oceans forming garbage patches? Environmentalists from the Ellen MacArthur Foundation British Fund have even calculated that if garbage disposal continues at the same rate, then by 2025 there will be 1 kilogram of garbage for every 3 kilograms of fish. And by 2050 there will be more garbage than fish in all the world's oceans. Although many environmental organizations are trying to solve this problem, it looks like only the ocean cleanup has come close to solving the problem of the large garbage patch. Today, there are five large accumulations of garbage in the Indian, Pacific, and Atlantic Oceans. The largest spot even received its own name, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch GPGP. It drifts between Hawaii and California, constantly increasing in size. In 2018, scientists even managed to conduct an observation, using 30 ships and 652 pieces of surface nets to measure the area of pollution. As a result, it became known that GPGP covers an area of 1.6 square kilometers. For comparison, it's like two Texas states or three French territories. Nearly 80% of floating debris is plastic. Toothbrushes, toilet seats, plates, spoons, forks, and more. All these ends up in the stomachs of marine life and birds causing suffocation or indigestion. As the researchers note, the problem is only getting worse. Every year, from 1.1 to 2.4 million tons of new plastic waste gets into the oceans. One of the companies that has offered a rather original solution to this problem is the Ocean Cleanup. The founders of the company decided to clear the oceans of garbage in a rather brutal way. They proposed building a giant net, similar to a fishing net, and using it to start collecting plastic. The collected garbage is recycled and later reused in people's lives. The first prototype, called System 001, was launched in September 2018. For four months, Ocean Cleanup has been studying its prototype at the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. More than 273 tests were carried out, during which 30 ships and an aircraft were involved. Unfortunately, the first prototype showed serious flaws. In particular, the system could not effectively hold the plastic. Insufficient strength was also revealed. During the work, an 18-meter section came off the system. The second project dubbed System 001-B and launched in 2019 has become more successful. Major errors in the first draft were fixed and new solutions were tested, in particular such as speeding up the plastic collection system using buoys and slowing down work with a special sea anchor parachute. Acceleration and deceleration are necessary for the most optimal passage of polluted waters. A lot of time was devoted specially to changing the configuration of the underwater part of the system to reduce the load. The company was not eager to lose another section as in the previous project. Also noteworthy was the fact that when it returned to Canada in December 2019, the company used plastic to create sunglasses. However, neither the first nor the second project satisfied the founder of the ocean cleanup, Boyan Slat. He wants to cut GPGP by half in five years. And for this, the capacity of the first two systems is not enough. That is why upon completion of the second project, work on the third one, the System 002, was immediately launched. And although the basic principle has remained the same, to catch plastic with the help of barriers and then take it to land, the new project has become more innovative. First, the standard characteristics were improved. The coverage of the special barrier was expanded to 1,800 meters. The efficiency of plastic catching was increased and the strength of the sections was increased. Secondly, for the first time, they began to actively use the engines of ships to increase the speed of movement over a garbage patch. In the first projects, this was not due to a sharp drop in the effectiveness of the above-mentioned barrier. Third, a navigation system was launched to control the barrier. This will allow the team to pick up garbage from the tightest areas. To test the new technology on July 31, 2021, the team headed back to the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, starting from Port Victoria, Canada. Over the next 12 weeks, the Ocean Cleanup tested System 002 strength, efficiency, speed, and agility over and over again. The tests turned out to be so difficult that the team even had to arrange a break, dividing the trip into two parts, six weeks each. And only by October 20, 2021, was the team able to officially end the tests, returning to Canada. The project was recognized as a success, and by November, System 002 returned to the garbage patch for regular cleaning. Thus, we are able to officially declare that it's game over for the GPGP. 
But Despite the successful completion of the tests and the beginning of work to clean up the largest garbage patch in the ocean, the problem of ocean pollution remains acute. People also continue to use plastic in their daily life and throw it into landfills, where it eventually ends up in rivers, seas, and oceans. That is why the Ocean Cleanup, having sent their latest development to clean the ocean and practically solving this issue, immediately began to develop a new, more advanced technology called System 003. The creators want to make it cheaper and faster so that in the future, it would be possible to establish a serial production to clean up all the oceans. They hope that the new system being developed will be able to work as part of an entire fleet. But maybe we should also think about how to stop using a large amount of plastic in our lives.